Okay, I'm going to show you how to maybe speed up your uh, repairing of your photos, with, especially on these wrinkles, uh, using the healing tool, but we're going to do uh, click and drag. Uh, this particular picture, I scanned it the wrong directions, so I got shadows at the cracks, uh, saved it as a JPEG, and the lossy format's kind of bad, so uh, I'm going to do the best I can with this picture. So, let's start out by zooming in to some of these cracks. And we pick the healing tool. And we want something that's going to cover up the shadow and the light part. So we might want to bring up the size a little bit, but not too much. Oh, that looks pretty good. Now, one little secret. Uh, you're going to want to line up the uh, crosshairs on the heel tool with the shadows or say the edge of the dress here where there's a lot of change in color. So let's get started. I'm going to line it up right on that shadow right there. Hold down the control key, get it in place, and then I'm going to get the pointer in about the same place and we just click it. We don't want to get into the decoration on the dress. But we can also bring it back the other way. Now on the dress, line up on the line between the dark and white. Try to get it as close as we can in the same place. I didn't do so good, so it's Control Z. We can keep going back and doing this again and again. And as you can see, I did pretty good. Well, we can drag it right on back by. And that's a pretty good fix. Line up with the shadow, bring it down. Line up with the shadow, bring it across. Don't want to get into the decoration. Line up with the shadow, pull it up. And you can just keep doing this on the whole picture. Makes it very quick and easy. And if you, there's a few places you don't like, you can just do some one-click fixes. Here I got a mistake. Quick fix. Now over here the shadow is a lot worse. And technically with a big enough brush uh, that's going to cover most of it up, but I'm going to bring it down just a little bit. And I'm going to show you how you fix it if the heel tool doesn't work. Okay, line up, click. And that's pretty good, except we still got a little light area and a little dark area. Now we come in with the paintbrush, bring the opacity down to say 30%, and we want to make sure the brush is fuzzy brush. Bring the size down a little bit. And all we do is uh, select the color. Right there's kind of a shadow, and we'll bring that up and down. And just try to blend that in. And lighten it. Now the mistake most people make is they keep the opacity too high. Makes the picture look kind of flat. And so if I'd rather go over it a few times than not enough. Well, there's a little stain. Let's take care of that real quick. Let's 
Is that quick and easy? Let's maybe work on what do you do when you get to an edge? Well, you just line up on the edge of the picture, click, and same thing goes here. It's actually kind of hard to get a good edge, but that's not too bad. You know, on the wing, I'd probably find a good area to start with. Come up here. That's not too bad, just a few little fixes. And you can hardly tell there was a crack there.